Let's talk about something important, and that is how much JavaScript do you actually need to know before jumping into React? Because, yeah, you know, here's the thing. If you've spent any time learning web development or programming, you've definitely heard that React is the framework that you need to learn. It's everywhere. It's in almost every single job description, unless they're asking for Vue or another framework. But for the most part, React, it really sort of dominates job postings and all the roadmaps that you hear for full stack developers or front end developers that they need to learn React. And here's where sort of my own experience comes in because I've started learning React and I've realized something and that is that I might have made a bit of a mistake. So now I'm kind of rethinking my approach. If you're in a similar boat, if you're learning React, things are kind of not really clicking, this might be interesting for you as well. So when should you start learning React? Let's talk about it. I think what happens is, and this might be happening to you already, is that you start learning React pretty early on, maybe after picking up a little bit of JavaScript. And then all of a sudden you're sort of building things with it, but you're kind of struggling with picking up React. You're kind of struggling with learning this new framework. And I'm realizing now that there's a pretty good reason for that. And I think it's quite simple. And that is that you just don't have a solid enough foundation in JavaScript yet. And honestly, I'm feeling that right now. You know, I jumped into React too quickly. I should have spent more time brushing up on my JavaScript first, which is exactly what I'm doing now, sort of going back, you know, filling in gaps. And here's what I believe, and you know, don't have to go and quote me on it, but I think you probably need to have at least an intermediate level in JavaScript before you dive into React. React is supposed to make your life as a web developer easier. And I know that that sounds crazy, especially when you're learning it and you're feeling like, you know, your kind of brain is just melting, but React was actually created to solve problems that JavaScript alone couldn't. So if React feels significantly harder than JavaScript, that's probably a sign that you don't have the core JavaScript fundamentals down just yet. And trust me, I'm saying this from experience. So you're probably asking, well, what do I mean by the fundamentals of JavaScript? Well, here are some things I think that you should absolutely know before you think about learning React. And look, I know that there's gonna be some very passionate people in the comments who might completely disagree with me. And that's fine. Like I said, this is what I think and what I believe going through this process. If you have a different take, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear from it as well. But Here's what I've realized from my own experience. Let's say that I give you a project and you need to create three buttons on the page, you know, one rectangular button, one with round edges, and one that is completely circular. And I want you to do some things with those buttons. When the rectangle button is clicked, the entire page, I want the entire color of the page to change. And then when the rounded edge button is double clicked, uh, it should create this counter underneath it with a small button next to it that increases the counter, increases the number essentially when you click it. And when the counter, when it hits 10, then a reset button should appear uh, that resets only the counter. So it resets the counter to zero. And by the way, the counter, it should persist even if the page is refreshed. So if I refresh the page, the number of the counter should stay there. It should only reset when the reset button is clicked. And then finally, when the circular button is clicked, I want everything on the page to reset. So the background color goes back to white, the counter, it resets. And there's also an alert that pops up on the browser that says, wow, you've just reset this page, how could you? Now, if I gave you this project and this project sounds intimidating or you wouldn't even know where to start, that's a sign that you probably need to brush up on your JavaScript before jumping into React. You should also be comfortable with you know, variables and scope in JavaScript. You should know about when to use let, when to use const. Do you know the difference between things like global scope, you know, function scope and block scope? And can you explain why a variable declared inside a function, you know, can't be accessed outside of a function? If you don't understand those things, then, you know, React is gonna feel like a complete nightmare. You should also understand functions and even higher order functions as well. React is essentially built around functions. Uh, so you need to be comfortable, you know, writing them and using them. You need to know regular functions versus like arrow functions. React uses a lot of arrow functions. You should also know callback functions, you know, passing functions as arguments to other functions. And then you should know methods or higher order functions like map, you know, filter and reduce. React components, they heavily rely on these like methods like map. Uh, and so if you don't, if you don't get that, if you don't understand it, React is gonna be very confusing. And, and like a little exercise, can you take an array of numbers and can you return a new array with each number that's doubled using the map uh, method, for example, and using reduce, you know, can you use reduce 
To sum up all the numbers in an array, you should also understand about conditional logic and loops. Do you know when to use a ternary operator instead of a simple if else statement? Also with loops, you know, do you know what a for loop is? Can you write a for loop to iterate through an array? The thing is that React components, they often use conditional rendering, which means that you'll be seeing a lot of things like ternary operators. And if those things, they look kind of, you know, scary to you, then that's a red flag. You really should go back and learn these things. And then there's also working with things like local storage APIs. You know, a lot of React apps, they involve saving user data in the browser. So do you know how to store and retrieve and even delete items using local storage? That's an important skill to have. Like how I gave you with the project at the beginning, can you save the counter value that persists once you refresh the page? And that's a lot of that is with local storage. Then obviously there's asynchronous JavaScript. You have to know promises and async await. React apps, you know, they constantly fetch data from APIs, which means that you have to understand how to handle asynchronous operations. Now I'm not gonna keep going down this extremely lengthy list because there is a fair bit that you have to know before you get to React. And the reason why you need to know these fundamentals is because React isn't just some magical shortcut, right? I mean, yes, React has its own methods, its own functions and its own processes. But at the end of the day, and for the most part, it's just JavaScript. And if you don't have a solid grasp of JavaScript, React will feel like learning two languages at once. And so honestly, I believe you should wait until you reach an intermediate level in JavaScript before even touching React. So how do you know that you're ready to use React? Well, maybe some telltale signs is that when you visit a website or you think about a project and you can actually kind of visualize the JavaScript code that you need to build it, that's a pretty good sign that your skills are starting to improve. Uh, I, I guess until then, you just have to keep building in vanilla JavaScript to kind of build that muscle memory. And if you do, you're gonna be thankful that you spent the time to really understand JavaScript before you start moving to different frameworks. And so I talked a lot about, you know, developing your skills in JavaScript in a previous video, but you know, I think it's worth repeating here. And that is that if you went through an entire JavaScript course, uh, and the concepts kind of just went over your head and they were really fuzzy uh, or you didn't pick up much then you know and you, you basically you picked up mainly html css then the the idea here is to go through another course you know build different projects really drill javascript into your muscle memory because when you do you're not just learning javascript you know you're building a foundation that'll make picking up any framework in the future so much easier. And I don't think that this is emphasized enough. Maybe it's because the people giving advice are kind of so far along in their journey at the moment that they, they don't even remember what it felt like to struggle with a programming language like JavaScript at the start. You know, let's break it down to brass tacks here. You can't learn JavaScript in just a five hour crash course. That is if you're completely new to programming or web development. If you already have programming experience, sure, you know, you're most likely just learning new syntax. But if you are brand new, expecting to master JavaScript, well, not master it, but get a really good understanding of JavaScript in just a single short tutorial, it's just completely ridiculous. So if you are struggling with it, don't beat yourself up because it is hard. It's not intuitive, uh, but with time, the intuition starts to kick in. And honestly, you know, if someone tells me that they've picked up JavaScript in a couple of days, I just call complete BS on it. You know, I need to, I, I, want, I want to meet this person because I can only imagine that this person that's picked it up in a couple of days, they've come from a highly technical background. Maybe they've worked with some sort of programming before or their brain is just naturally wired to think like a computer, which I think is extremely rare. Learning JavaScript is really like building a muscle. To me, it's a lot like just going to the gym. You don't just go into the gym once, walk out, and you're just shredded like Sam Sulik. You have to put in the reps again and again before you start seeing any results. So don't feel bad if you are struggling with it because you know JavaScript is just not something that comes naturally. So yeah, just stop beating yourself up over it. Even I've even seen online, even people with technical backgrounds have said that, you know, learning a programming language took them a while to grasp. So if these highly technical people have struggled with it as well, then it just goes to show we're all in the same boat together. Your brain needs time to adjust to how programming, you know, specifically JavaScript works. And the only way that that's going to happen is to just keep showing up, clock in each day, coming back to it. You know, I know I sound like a broken record here, but honestly, that is the only way that you're going to make any progress. Programming 
isn't just something that you get overnight. It's a daily habit that you have to build and you have to figure out, you know, how to make it work for you. Uh, everyone's schedule is different. Everyone's learning pace is different. Uh, but if you don't prioritize it, you just won't get better at it. Sounds harsh. I know. I, I wish it I wish I could say it a different way, but that's just the truth. Anyway, look, I went on a bit of a tangent here, but just to wrap all this up, if you want to start learning React, I think that you really need to get to at least, you know, somewhat close to an intermediate level in JavaScript before you attempt learning React. It's going to make your React experience easier. You know, you're going to pick things up a lot faster. And to do this, you should be able to build some cool things with the DOM. You should understand things like handling events, you know, manipulating elements. And to do this, you really need to have built a fair amount of projects using HTML, CSS and JavaScript before moving to a framework like React. And obviously above all, just keep building. The more that you build, the easier that it gets. You won't master JavaScript. Honestly, I don't think that's even possible because of how, how large the language is. Uh, but once you've built enough projects, whether it's through courses, you know, tutorials uh, or your own ideas, things will start to click. And I truly believe that learning JavaScript properly can change your life. Uh, so don't learn React until you have a solid understanding of JavaScript. My advice, take it or leave it. Uh, this might mean that you stop that React course that you're currently working on right now and you go back to learning more JavaScript again for a few more weeks and then you come back to the React course uh, and you know you start all over again and hopefully things start to work and things start to make sense. Anyway, these are just my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.